Okay, so what's up everybody? I got this piece of wood from Vancouver Island. It's a piece of Arbutus wood. It's five foot tall, almost five foot tall, two inches thick. So what I want to do, I'm carving this walking stick for myself. To put away if I die, my son can have it or family member can have it. That's unless somebody wants to buy it. Arbutus wood, I love the Arbutus live trees. They're so beautiful. Um, the bark's super thin. Like this is the bark. It's just so it's just so thin. And it turns green and orange when it's in, when the tree's alive. This piece is pretty well bone dry. There is some cracks. Like right here. Don't care. They're all spiral cracks basically. If you can see that. So what I'm gonna do now, and this this video applies to the Dremel carvers. Not just for people with chainsaw carvers and all this stuff. You know, if you get one of these, this grinder, this is just a cheap Walmart, what's it called? Hyber Tough. With a backing pad on it, okay? So you can see this orange backing pad. And then a 36 grit or whatever kind of grit you want. A little flat sanding pad. I'm going to clean all this up. Is it on camera? Perfect. I'm going to clean all this up with this. And that's going to save yourself so much time. Like I was even saying, even if you're a Dremel carver and you have a little backyard, you can go outside and clean it up. Clean it up. It will save you so much more time than sitting there with your Dremel. Unless you like doing that and trying to get all this bark stuff off. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to put my mask on. And um, this is my trend mask. This is the best investment I've made chainsaw carving. It's got the rechargeable battery, you plug it in. The battery lasts seven hours. So you got a filter here, you got a filter there. It does not fog up, it doesn't make me sweat. And this is your on off, you can hear it. You hear the fan running? Okay, so that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, so there you go. That took me 10 minutes. Um, look at these cracks. They're all twisted. Super cool. Um, so it just goes to show you, if you get one of these uh, grinders with the, the disc, disc thing, you can uh, save a lot of time. Even Like I said, even for the Dremel carvers. So I think walking sticks... I'm gonna do a side thing. So I think they say, this is kind of like research that I've done online, that your elbow's square, say if it's square here, it should just be a little bit higher, okay? So what I do is I put the stick here. Let's see. Yeah, so. Here, practice walking around with it. I think, uh, here, practice more, make sure. And, and let it sit on the floor and see where it's gonna spin to. I think that's perfect right there. So what all I'm gonna do is go like this, and like this. That's common knowledge, I'm sure you guys can figure it out. But some people don't know, some people that have never done woodworking, right? So there, that's where my handle's gonna be. Right here. Or should it be here? Yeah, maybe it should be higher. Okay, so put some scratches there. And right here. Now, you can still use this. You can still use this. Put your mask on and go like this and turn the stick and just remove the wood. It's so much faster than just sitting there with your Dremel, you know?
I don't know, you gotta get, you gotta go outdoors and enjoy the sun. I'm in the shade, the sweat tent, but you know what I mean. So I'm gonna do that. And we'll I'll show you, and then we'll hit it time lapse.
Okay, so if your stick's a little bit too heavy, just remove more wood. If it's too tall, just take some wood off the bottom and thin it out. So now I'm ready to do some detail carving on here, if I even want to. But yeah, I might as well carve, what am I going to carve in it? I got Dremels here, I might as well carve a little wood spirit. I got lots of uh, tutorials how to carve wood spirits the way I do. So how about I carve this guy um, just like this, but I won't film. And I'll show you guys how, I, how I'm going to do with these cracks this time. I'm going to paint it and sand it so those cracks are really black. Okay, carry on. So I got a Dremel 4300 here, 4300, no flex shaft. I haven't shows my, showed myself using this Mampa cutter too often, but here's a little Mampa cutter. It's got three cutters on there. These things work awesome. I got this is the round one, and then I got the sharp one, like so the cutters are sharp. But yeah, so it's kind of dirty, but um, what I'm going to do is I got the wood spirit drawn out up here. So it's face, like let your stick sit on the ground, see which way it rolls. And wherever it rolls, carve your, like, so it sits, so it's comfortable to use when you're walking, right? Does that make sense? Find the good spot. If the good spot, that's your spot, then carve, say if this was your good spot, carve whatever you, flowers or whatever you wanted to do here, or leaves. Okay, but I'm going to just quickly outline this, take off this uh, wood with this um, 4300 Dremel and this uh, Mampa cutter, okay? They work, they got them one-eighth cutters for the Dremel and they got quarter inch for the die grinders in your Fordham and to get these tools just go to just Google Mampa tools So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to burn down here really good in these cracks because I'm going to burn it really good. Maybe they'll split more. Then I'm going to resand this whole thing and then she's done. Haha. <laughs> yep. Okay. So since I know this wood is bone dry. When I burn the cracks, I hold the torch extra long at that crack to try and burn inside there, okay? So 
like this one because the Crocs twist I think they're super neat right so like I said I'll hold the torch extra long at that crack hoping it, hoping it will open up more and get black inside there so now I got uh, this orbit sounder I think I'm gonna get some 80 grit sit down in my chair and this is kind of when you just sit there and sand and uh, watch the beautiful color of the woods come out that's all Okay, so here you go. Don't forget to sign your pieces. There's a wood spirit face up there. There's your handle. I did uh, drill a hole right through to put a, a string in there. So you put your hand through the string and your hand can rest on there. This is a walking stick for a big man. It's not a small little petite one. Now look at those cracks. See how cool those look? I think they look cool anyways. Um, that's oil from the compressor those splats so I gotta sand some more I didn't sand all the black off I left some on and uh, what I'm gonna do quickly is I gotta pull up my sander again sand this oil spots off that, sorry my camera died but what I'm gonna do now is uh, spray it with this Russ oleum satin clear watch how uh, dark it goes Let's see those cracks. So it's, this video is just to show you, you can do it. You don't have to be a woodworking expert to make a walking stick. And the best thing about walking sticks is they make awesome gifts. Now I'll just let it dry there, put the string in it, and it's done. So here you go, there's a wood spirit walking stick. See that hole that I said I drilled? I don't know if I said I drilled it, but I just got a rope, put the rope through, tied a knot, and then that's your handle for your, sometimes they do it the other way, but it can hold the weight, right? Carve whatever you want on it. Carve a flower, carve a whale, carve a UFO. Carve a Just Carve Rub, I Just Carve Rub, Carve a bed Studio on the Lake, Carve whatever you want. It just shows you, it's easy to do and anybody can do it. That looks like my signature there for a second. Have fun everybody. Carving Fields and Walk Egg Stick, over and out. Come here, grasshopper. It's that time of year again. What are you doing over here? Aren't you supposed to be over there? Okay, run along, go.